Hey everyone, this is Seb and you're watching Let's Play Powerblade for the NES. A often very much overlooked game, um, which is a real shame because it's a really awesome game and it's one of my all-time favorite NES games. And I hope to show you why. Seriously, if you don't have this game, it's really cheap to get, at least in Europe. And it's a lot of fun, so if you don't have it, then uh, it's a real tip to go check it out. Anyway, we're at uh, New Earth, at least according to the manual, but that's one of the most uh, poorly written things ever. And uh, shit's going down. The master computer went awire, and now we're all messed up, and we start panicking. Because, yeah, we're just human, and we're in a pacifist world here. And Nova summoned, the only guy who can still kick ass and maybe chew some bubble gun on the side. <laughs> Yeah, the Japanese developers, uh, I guess, wanted to <laughs> make it a bit attractive for Western gamers, so they decided to go with a uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger look. But in retrospect, he also kind of resembles Duke Nukem, but he wasn't as popular at the time, so I doubt that he was the model for this. But uh, yeah, especially when you look at the cover of the game, it's clearly a uh, Terminator look. <laughs> but oh well. Uh, these are the contacts, but uh, they don't have any relevance really. They just stand in a level and give you a key card, and that's it. Frankly, this whole introduction thing of them seems like a big waste. It's nice that they give some detail, but uh, yeah, the story in this game isn't as good to begin with. So, <laughs> why waste so many time, uh, so much time on those? I don't know. And by the way, this is a big fat lie of the game because uh, it's not for a different sector. Each key card you get is for that sector. Maybe at one point in development they thought it would be a good idea to get one key card in a level and have to use that in another. Not sure if that would have been a good idea to be honest, but uh, it got scrapped. If it's better, if it's worse, I don't know. I do know that some levels can be really tedious because you have to get a key card and then go for the boss room. They are kind of open-ended levels, but yeah, some you really have to backtrack quite a bit to go from the key card to the boss room. And I'm mainly looking at sector 5. And oh yeah, we will watch our backside because in this specific world we cannot get any backup. Now can we? Uh, let's play on Expert. Not because I'm that great, but uh, because the game isn't all that hard. Alright, so just like in Mega Man, you can play any of the levels in any order which you want. So that's pretty nice. Except for the last one, of course, which is dead in the middle. Uh, with the be uh, main body of the game, of course, but it's protected by some big ass uh, firewall or something, but Nova cannot enter it. Uh, if you want to exit, you can just press up and you'll get back to the map screen, which is pretty useless. But you know, it's there and I showed it, so uh, with that done, let's actually get into the level cell. Uh, one thing you will notice is that this game has awesome, awesome music. I do recommend checking out the soundtrack of the game if you haven't yet. But yeah, uh, these guys are... Oh, I should... Uh... Well, no problem. Should have killed it while it was up. You can only hurt those droid things when they're up. Anyway, uh, Nova's weapon of choice is a boomerang, which is a bit odd. Don't see that every day. Well, Link has one, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, boomerang. But also kind of cool, because it's just not as common. Uh, you would think in the future they have better things, but you know, since we're all pacifists, I guess we threw away all our guns and stuff. Nova has one other weapon, by, uh, though. Well, two, I guess. But uh, this is the main one I was referring to, the power armor, which replaced the boomerang with the power blade. Power blade's main advantage is that it can shoot through walls. Sweet. And it, it is a bit bigger. Ow. Uh, the power armor also gives you three extra hits, and I already managed to waste two. Way to go, Seb. And here is the first contact. The power up that's uh, falling there is a extra boomerang, which uh, has no relevance to the power armor, but uh, when you boomerang, 
Uh, when you back to your boomerang, you can shoot man multiple out at a time. The power bar uh, governs how far a boomerang will go, or even the power blade, I believe. Hamburgers restore life, of course, but uh, you know, you, you you guys always look down on the hamburger as life restoring, and I don't get that. Why not? I mean, it's the future, so why can't we have invented a, a hamburger that's actually healthy, huh? I don't know. <laughs> Just something that, uh, you know, always having hamburgers and chicken, but why not? And uh, another item which we pick up is the hand grenade, and that's Nova's final weapon on this... And I actually used two, I think. Yep. <laughs> it uh, it kills everything on the screen, or at least damages them, because uh, some enemies take multiple hits. One thing you want to keep in mind when playing this is, unlike Mega Man, where you can jump off ladders, when you jump off a ladder here and fall to the next screen, well, you die. It's just simple. You're dead, and it sucks. Huh, not sure why I waited for that uh, bullet, but oh well. There's another power armor here. Sweet. Let's see if I can uh, hang on to this one a bit longer now. Which shouldn't be too hard, but yeah. Uh, when talking and playing at the same time, everything gets a bit harder, you know. <laughs> Uh, just enjoying the music, can't help it, sorry guys. <laughs> so yeah, Boomerang, awesome stuff. Uh, this game actually made me interested in the Boomerang, but uh, you know, you buy one of those things and after, after throwing it and having to fetch it three times, you get kind of fed up with it. In real life the damn things don't come back, or I know, I know, in real life they do come back, it's just all in the wrist. <laughs> But yeah, I never managed to uh, pull it up. Yeah, I'll take your hamburger. I like that. And this is a uh, protein pack, which apparently only Nova knows the recipe to. And uh, I don't need that. Only wants to prepare one in each level or some other nonsense they put in the manual. I don't know. It makes no sense. Hey, Gorilla Man. Ow. I always have the hardest time. You can shoot diagonally down, but there we go. For some reason, I can never pull it off right. Anyway, this is the boss room, so uh, let's go in there because we have the ID card. We're all set. And we can face Mr. Astronaut Guy, who uh, is already dead. <laughs> yeah, bosses in this game. Not so hard. They're mostly mostly they are all pushovers. Although when fully powered down and facing them, ooh, then you can be in trouble. But oh well, that was sector one. Hope you enjoyed it guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for sector two.